Hey there, welcome back to Mastering Kinemaster. So when I did my first bookmark video, a subscriber named ZYX gave me a tip to use this for beat matching. Well, I checked it out and you may have not noticed, but the intro is a little bit different this time. There are fireworks, they're right on beat. So it is so useful, so easy, so good for your TikTok videos or for syncing other parts to music. I'm gonna show you this super easy technique. First, I'm just gonna replay that part of the intro so you can check it out. And then remember, like and subscribe and join me on the other side. I know you're gonna be excited about this trick. See you over there. I'm going to start this project out with a plain black background clip stretched out to the length of the music that I want and now I'm going to add the music because what I'm going to do is I am going to mark the audio and I'm going to show you what that means. So this is the song that we used and this song has these little bell sounds in it and so that was where I wanted to make the fireworks go. So what I found out is that when I hit play in preview, if I tap on the red playhead, it's gonna drop a purple marker as it goes in real time. So I can play it kind of like I'm playing the drums, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna do this now, and when you hear the bell, you'll see that a blue spot drops just for the first four bells. So let's go. Okay, so I've got my four markers there, and then we can either navigate between them using the bookmark menu that I showed you in that last video where you press and hold on the red and it goes to the first one, second one, or the third one. But in this case, I can just kind of scroll between them because they are so close to each other as I would do in a music video. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the pin tool and lock the music in place. Just that sort of features because I don't want it moving around uh, when I start to add videos to it. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my fireworks. So I'm going to go ahead and one setting that I'm going to change, and this is available on a per project or on the global basis, but if I go into settings here for editing, I can change the duration of a layer. And so what that does is automatically either, and I can do it with both layers and photos, is that what that does is I'm setting it to a second and a half, which means that when I drop the fireworks sticker that it's going to be automatically a second and a half long. So now I go ahead and I go, go ahead into my first layer. I'm going to take my sticker. I'm going to go into fireworks. I'm going to choose that one. Go ahead and go to the next blue spot and I'm going to add another firework and I'll add a red one. And then in the last one, I'm going to go ahead and add another sticker and I will choose a green one. And then the last one, I will choose another one. Um, and I'm moving quickly in this is that, um, you know, I think I would do this first, although I might put my actual video content in first. I'm not sure which way that I would specifically do it. And then of course I could reposition all the fireworks and all of that, but let's just play it once through and you can see the result, which you've already seen, but check it out again. All right, so it wasn't exactly perfect because I'm moving really fast and I might move things around a little bit, but boy, does this make things super easy for getting drops and stuff and content to sit right on the beat. Um, you, If you're doing a lot of editing, you might wanna lock each of these individual fireworks to make sure that they're at the right time just in case you move other things around. But otherwise, this is an amazing way, I think understand, not even I think, I know this is an amazing way to set up syncing beat. I realized after I had sort of wrapped it up that I wanted to show you how to make the music video part of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a video clip in here. And now because I've locked the fireworks in place, they haven't moved and the music hasn't moved. So I added a video clip and then I'm just gonna split that at the playhead. I'm gonna delete that second part of it over here. And then I'm gonna add the next video clip and I go ahead and I go into my favorites, grab this graffiti wall. I check that, I scroll back 
and I could use the bookmarks to get back over to here again, but I want this one to cut at the second bookmark place. And so I go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and trim to the right of the playhead. And then you can see that I'm very quickly building a synced video. Um, and you know, you'd wanna do more editing in this, but boy, does this make it fast and easy to make this beat synced video of your own beat decisions. All right, I hope you like that. And ZYX, thanks again. And in terms of that, remember, I like to communicate with people. You can comment, you can ask me for ideas, or you can give me suggestions. This came from him. I'm learning just as you guys are. Uh, remember, like and subscribe. Anything you have to say to me, put it down below. Let's get in touch with each other. Remember, get out there and make some really cool stuff with the best mobile video editing platform. <laughs> Can the master.